for linear stress variation over the base of the dam and neglecting hydrostatic uplift, locate where the resultant crosses the base, so that's X from the toe. Compute the maximum and minimum compressive stresses at the base. Rework the above problem, considering hydrostatic uplift that varies from 20 meters at the hill to zero at the toe of the dam. So this is the figure cross-section of the dam. We consider one meter step into the board. So B is 3 plus 4 plus 11, so it is 18 meters. So that's the location of F F F FH. Since the water level is flush with the crest of the dam, then uh, the pressure distribution is triangular, zero at the top, maximum at the bottom. So FH is located one third of 27, so nine meters from the bottom. Then we divide this because there is this inclined face of the dam. So we have weight of one, weight of water, weight two here, this one. Weight 3, masonry, specific weight is 2.5 of specific weight of water. By the way, weight 1 is, because this is 1 third of 3, 1, so 18 minus 1 is 17. Weight sub 2 is at distance 18 minus 1 half of 3, 1.5, so 16.5 meters. Weight 3. Due to masonry, one third of three is one plus 15, so 16 meters from the toe. Weight four here, uh, one half of four, two plus 11, so 13 meters from the toe. And weight sub five, two thirds of 11, 22 over three from the toe. So F8 first, specific weight of water. 9.81, barred H is 27 over 2, area 1 by 27. So FH is 3575.74 kilonewtons. Then weight of water, this is triangular. 1, 9.81 times 1 half or 0.5 of 3 times 20 times 1. So it is equal to 294.3 kilonewtons. Weight sub 2 is 9.81 times volume which is 3 times 7 times 1 so it is 206.01 kilonewtons weight 3 is masonry so this is 2.5 of 9.81 times quantity 0.5 times 3 times 20 times 1 75.75 kilonewtons Weight 4 is masonry quantity 2.5 times 9.81 times 4 times 27 times 1. So it is equal to 2648.7 kilonewtons. Weight 5 is masonry, so 2.5 times 9.81 times quantity uh, 0.5 of 11 times 20 times 1. So it is... 2697.75 kilonewtons. So next is RY. RY is sum of these weights here. And let's call its distance from the toe as X. So RY is 294.3 plus 206.01 plus 735.75 plus 2648.7 plus 2697.75. So RY is equal to 6582.51 kilonewtons. And to solve for X, we sum up moment about the toe equals 0. So 6582.51 times X plus FH 3575.74 times 9. And equals weight 1, 294.3 times 17 plus weight 2, 206.01 times 16.5 plus weight 3, 735.75 times 16 plus weight 4, 2647.2648.7 times 13 plus weight 5, 2697.75 times 22 over 3. 
Solving for x, x is 6.412 meters from the toe. And this is greater than 18 over 3, but less than 18 over 2. So 6.412, 18 over 3 is 6, less than 6.412. And 6.412 is less than 18 over 2 or 9. So it is within the middle thirds closer to the toe. So here, to the right of the center, then to the left of the extremity of the middle third. So this is good design. E is B over 2, 18 over 2 minus X. We can use the formula for Q because RY over B quantity 1 minus plus 6 E over B. And E is 18 over 2 or 9 minus 6.412. So E is 2.588 meters. Substitute there. Q is RY, 6582.51 over 18, quantity 1 minus plus 6 times 2.588 over 18. So for minus, that's the soil pressure at the hill, is equal to 50.22 kilopascals. For plus, that's the soil pressure at the toe, is equal to 681.2 kilopascals. Then, second, considering uplift, which varies from 20 meters at the hill, 20 meters only, not full, to zero at the toe. So, this is the uplift pressure diagram. So, the pressure here is specific weight of water times 20, 18 meters. So, the uplift force is 1 half or 0.5 of 18 times 9.81 times 20 times 1. So the uplift force is equal to 1765.8 kilonewtons. So for considering uplift, RY is affected. RY prime, we'll call it RY prime. It is equal to 6582.51 minus 1765.8. The uplift force is acting from the toe. Two thirds of 18 is 12 meters from the toe. So RY prime is 6582.51 minus uplift 1765.8. So RY prime is 4816.71 kilonewtons. Then again, to solve for X prime, let's call it X prime. It will change. It will approach the toe because of uplift. It will be moved towards the toe. So 4816.71 times X prime plus FH 3575.74 times 9 plus uplift 1765.8 times 12. Then equals the rest is the same. 294.3 times 17 plus 206.01 times 16.5 plus 735.75 times 16 plus 2648.7 times 13, plus 2697.75 times 22 over 3. So using your calculator there, X prime is equal to 4.364 meters. And this is now less than 18 over 3. So it falls outside. It is now closer to the toe. So there is a portion on this side here that is not compressed. So Q hill is zero. So the pressure diagram is as shown. Triangular. Then this is three times 4.364 this distance. That's QT prime. So Q hill is zero. This distance is three times 4.364. So 13.092. We then equate the volume of this pressure diagram to Ry prime. So 4816.7 equals 1 half or 0.5 of 13.092 times Qt prime times 1 perpendicular to the board. So Qt prime is equal to 75.8 kilopascals. So that's it for this problem.